In today's video, man, I want to talk to you about how the consequences for a man is almost immediate, but the consequences for a woman is long term. Let's talk about it. to the most high Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, when it comes to marital issues, when people talk about the word cheating, I like to stick with the biblical term of adultery. You know, this legal system, you know, does not punish a woman or hold a woman accountable for her failure in marriage. It just doesn't. The system is set up to where women can fail at marriage, completely be the worst wife, the worst mother, get all these benefits. The court of public opinion in the system is going to sway to her. You know, even before the man has his day in court and is able to uh, prove his case, he's already guilty. Even, even, the court of public opinion, oh man, that's a, that's a shame what happened to that woman, man. Her husband must, they start making up stuff. Husband must have been, must have been abusing her and doing all this craziness. Come to find out, you can always tell. Just give it some time. Just give it some time. Because the consequences, you know, hit a man, even if the consequences don't even fit what actually happened. Even if they don't even pertain to the truth of the marriage. But a woman, be mindful. A woman, when a marriage or a relationship goes sour, she can put all the blame on the man. It was the man's fault. You know, he emotionally abused me. He was a narcissist and controlling. It all sounds good to the public. It all sounds good to the court of public opinion because they don't uh, promote women being submissive. Women be under, being under the headship of the man as we see in the Bible. So they're able to, okay, he did this and he did that and can start crying. We automatically know about 93% of the time, the woman is getting the kids by default, by default. And them kids came from the man's seed. And this is why statistically, when you look at uh, women that are divorced or women that are single mothers and have kids, they have the worst statistics as far as raising kids. These kids got criminal records. They're more likely to drop out. They're more likely to lose their virginity before the, the, the whole gamut. But these are those long-term side effects. And I've said it more than a lot. Women, you make a big mistake by holding on to these kids and helping them be a part of the worst statistics because you want everybody to see you as uh, you were the one that was right and he was the one that's wrong. Think about this. You got a lot of women out here. They can tell you what a man has done to them and all of this. And they didn't made the worst decisions over and over and over again. But the consequences for a woman are long term. When you hear men and women talk about the term of women hitting the wall what that means is you're facing the consequences of your choices, especially in marriage. If you sit up and have a good man and abuse this man and then launch a narrative, when you think about the divorce, listen to what I'm saying. These women are quick to throw a marriage down the drain. Very quick. Over 50% of divorces are ending in marriage. 70% of those divorces are ending 70% of those divorces are filed by women. 90% of these women is college educated. Man, there's a video out right now where a, a man uh, got a settlement of money. And his wife, two days later after the settlement came in, she divorced him thinking that she was entitled to have. She was ready to go live her best life. This, this is like 12 years of marriage. But... 
the bad part about it was that settlement wasn't included as income. So here she is trying to harbor those kids. You know, here she is thinking that she's going to get some exorbitant amount of child support because that's what you see the women in the media do. We want 20,000. And the judge was like, hey, you, 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 you played yourself. She kept asking, what about that settlement money? What about? And the judge said, ma'am, that's not part of his income. She went from potentially being able to live a good life to self-destructing and uh, getting no alimony, getting $300 in child support when she could have been a part of the success, part of the come up. Wanted to break off and do her own thing. Women face long-term consequences. I'm telling you, man, if you are a divorced woman and you have rebelled against the man and you went down there, you're going to face the long-term consequences. You're going to wonder why men don't want to deal with you. You're going to wonder why you men don't take you serious. You yourself are a joke. Men face the consequences. If a man uh, is an adulterer and stuff like that, other men will hold him accountable. No, nah, brother, that wasn't that way. You had one job. You're supposed to take care of your family. You're supposed to do this and do that. We're not sitting up covering for other men uh, living like that. Not no good men. You face the consequences immediately, abruptly, sometimes well before you even, like I said, face your day in court. And you see a lot of women, they'll run off, go get this divorce. And it's, it's I got videos on this channel where they are boohooing, crying, begging to be back in that position. Why? Because the man has moved on. That man has moved on, found him a new wife, more cooperative, submissive. Kids even like the new woman. And here you are making TikTok videos because the consequences is finally hitting you long term. 10 years after marriage, you making, man, divorce was my worst mistake. I wish I wouldn't have done it. I would have been happy. I would have been going on family trip videos. And now I'm just sitting here lonely. I'm telling you, the consequences hit women long term. You know, that first year, oh, you're going to feel like this your season because there's so much nonsense on the internet telling you, oh, don't worry about it. If that grass ain't greener today, it's going to be greener tomorrow. Only thing is that, gra that, that, that grass you hoping to be green is not getting fertilized by no truth. And it just gets browner and browner. You get more miserable. You just start getting older. Now you, Now men really ain't looking for you. Got to understand, man, women, you've been married for 10 years. You're not as ripe as you once was. That soil is not as ripe as it once was. The men that was gravitating to you in your 20s ain't flocking to you when you 30. This is, okay, when you see the Vivica A. Foxes, that's the long-term consequences. Long-term consequences. You see women that have their career together, and they say, man, Man, I, I, I'm a very successful woman, very educated, but all this wasn't worth it. I see my friends, they, they, they taking, they're, they're uh, taking great pride and joy in raising their kids and going to practices and games, and I don't have none of that. It's a part of you that's empty. Them the long-term consequences. And women, you have a clock that is ticking biologically. Biologically before that womb closes up on you and says, nope, I'm not putting out nothing else. This soil is hardened. Men can, men can go on. You'll divorce a man, a good man. You'll go and have some more kids. You can't even find nobody to lay down with you. Women face the long-term consequences. Men face them abruptly. When you're talking about this legal system, man, this legal system allows women to get away with doggone murder and not hold them accountable. Closer to y'all ministries kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Pow.